The spiral bevel gear is attached to your grinder's armature shaft. It drives the spindle gear. Over time, the gear will wear and eventually fail. When replacing a gear, it is best practice to replace both the failed gear and the one it contacts. Often, a new gear will quickly wear out the older gear it contacts. Replacing the spiral bevel gear is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the rear housing from the grinder. Now I have access to the brushes and brush springs. I'll pull the springs away from the brushes and pull the brush back away from the armature. Next I'll separate the gear housing from the motor housing. and I'll separate the armature from the field. Next, I'll remove the nut at the end of the armature shaft. And now I can remove the spiral gear as well as the lock spring. Now I'll separate the lock spring from the spindle gear. I'll use a screwdriver to carefully separate the two, being careful to not damage the gear. Now I can install the new spiral gear. Next I'll reconnect the spiral gear to the lock spring. I'll place the shaft on the spiral gear into the lock spring and tap it into place with a mallet. And now I'll reinstall the gear and spring assembly. I'll place it over the shaft and use a socket to tap it into place. And I'll reinstall the washer and the nut. Now I can reinstall the armature. I'll place the baffle back into the housing, install the armature, and the gearbox. And I'll secure the gearbox with the screws. And I'll finish by placing the springs back over the brushes and installing the housing. And now you know how to replace the spiral bevel gear in your grinder. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.